Has and Meg to be white with fear after Queen made drastic move at Windsor for Platinum Jubilee. The Queen has been seen arriving back at Windsor Castle after being spotted at Aberdeen Airport in Scotland earlier today as she made her way back to England ahead of the four-day bank holiday Platinum Jubilee celebrations, which start in two days' time. The Queen has been spotted arriving at back at Windsor Castle following a mini-holiday ahead of her Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The 96-year-old monarch had been enjoying a short break at her Balmoral estate ahead of her busy schedule, which begins on Thursday. It is understood the Queen arrived at her private Scottish home last Thursday. She usually visits Scotland at this time of year. But after a few days of relaxation, she was today pictured arriving at Aberdeen Airport to make the journey south ahead of the eagerly anticipated celebrations. Later pictures showed her arriving back at Windsor Castle in a car with a dog in the back. The monarch has attended a number of high-profile engagements in recent weeks and it is understood she is now pacing herself before the national events start. In recent months, the Queen has been forced to pull out of several high-profile events including the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey and the state opening of Parliament due to her mobility issues. However, she has been well enough to make appearances at the Royal Windsor Horse Show and Paddington Station for the official opening of the new Elizabeth Line. Last Monday, she also toured the Chelsea Flower Show but was chauffeured around by Buggy, enjoying the creations of some of the world's top garden designers from the comfort of the back seat. The 96-year-old is celebrating her 70th year on the throne with her Platinum Jubilee. Making the event even more special is the fact she's the first British monarch to do so. The celebrations will start on Thursday with Trooping the Colour, which will see members of royal family enjoying horse-drawn carriage rides and wave from the balcony at Buckingham Palace. After careful consideration, the Queen has decided to ban Prince Harry, Meghan Markle and Prince Andrew from appearing beside her, limiting relatives on the balcony to working royals only. Next Friday will start with the tolling of the St. Paul's Cathedral Bell in London to mark a Thanksgiving service that is expected to be attended by all members of her family, including Harry and Meghan. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's absence from the Jubilee balcony is a way of stopping Prince Andrew from going on it, a royal expert claimed. On June 2nd, the first day of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, senior working royals are set to stand on the balcony for the traditional trooping the colour appearance. Although they are returning to the UK for the celebrations, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not appearing on the balcony. Speaking on Sky News, royal biographer Angela Levin claimed that the decision to not have the Sussexes on the balcony could be to stop Prince Andrew backlash if he were to appear for the momentous event. Host Kay Burley spoke to Ms. Levin on the show. Ms. Burley asked, Will we see, Meghan and Harry, on the balcony? Ms. Levin replied, No, the Queen has been firm about that. The way she has done it is if you are not a working royal, you can't be on it. That's a way of stopping Prince Andrew from going out, on the balcony. She continued, I think there would be quite a feeling of anger amongst us all, if Andrew were to appear. The Queen's second son Prince Andrew had a civil sexual assault case filed against him over claims made by Jeffrey Epstein accuser Virginia Jufri. The Duke has repeatedly vehemently denied any wrongdoing. His 2019 interview with journalist Emily Maitlis received enormous amounts of public criticism and following this, the Duke voluntarily stepped back from his royal duties. I have asked Her Majesty if I may step back from public duties for the foreseeable future, and she has given her permission, Andrew wrote in a statement released at the time.